With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to select the type of epithelium with which the trachea and the bronchi have been lined. So we know that epithelium or the epithelial tissue is a very important tissue that we are going to find in the animal body because it is made up of compactly arranged cells having little intercellular matrix and that is why these epithelial tissues are able to form a covering for our organs or an inner lining for the tubular structures or the hollow organs. However, the epithelial tissue is also of many types and it performs various functions in our body. So, we call it a simple epithelial tissue when there is just a single layer of compactly arranged cells on the basis of the cells which are making up the simple epithelium on the basis of their shape and structure we have many different types of simple epithelial tissue also so if the epithelium is made up of elongated cells tall slender cells this is called a columnar epithelium and sometimes the free surface of a simple epithelium is going to bear cilia then it is known as a ciliated epithelium so this is what we are going to find in our respiratory tract or in the airways of our respiratory system we will see that the hollow structures such as the trachea that is our windpipe and the bronchi which are formed by the bifurcation of the trachea inside they are lined by a pseudo stratified pseudo stratified means that actually there's just a single layer but because of the tall slender cells it is appearing like a compound epithelium it is appearing like there is more than one layer so it is a pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium columnar why because the cells are tall and slender ciliated we are calling it because the free surface bears cilia and these cilia are there because our airways need to clean the air which is coming through inspiration so the cilia help us in movement of substances in a particular direction when they are present inside the lining of hollow organs and in this case in our airways in the windpipe and the bronchi they also play a role in filtering the air so such pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium will be found in the lining of our airways so correct answer here is option a because in the other options if we see they are saying stratified so no it's a simple epithelium it's not a compound epithelium we cannot say stratified then they are saying brush border epithelium brush border epithelium is mainly for increasing the surface area it bears some projections so we don't need this in the respiratory tract not in the airways at least where gaseous exchange is not occurring it's just a passage of air and finally they are saying the ciliated cuboidal epithelium so the ciliated part is correct but the cells are not actually cube like they're not cube shaped they're tall and slender so we will say columnar and option a will be our correct answer for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today